Hi guys, uh, thanks for tuning into my channel. Um, I'm back with another plan with me. Um, today I'm doing the Whistle and Birch trial pack inserts. Um, I was sent these to give them a bit of a review and I have started off with the monthly view insert and we're doing the month of September. Um, I realized during, well as I was setting up for my plan with me, that I didn't have any September kits. Um, so I'm using this kit from Stella Bo Sticker Co. It's actually a July monthly kit, but I was able to decorate it up a bit, um, fix, well, add more of the black detailing um, to cover the word July, and I think it worked out pretty well. You can't really tell that it says July. Um, so I think that passes off pretty well for September instead. Um, and it also fit fairly well on these inserts. Uh, it did. I did need to trim down the height of the top washi strips a little bit, um, but that came in handy to use along the bottom. There was like the perfect cutoff for the bottom strips, so that really worked. And um, lengthwise, it was only the first page I needed to trim down slightly. Um, they pretty much were the right size for them so I was really excited that this kit was going to work with these inserts. I did um, add a new September um, label onto it from Marshmallow Studios which you'll see me stick down shortly and that covered the, the what little bit of July you could see underneath pretty much Anyway, so you could hardly tell once it was all stuck down. So I got these inserts as a freebie for reviewing and I actually quite don't mind them. So they are larger than A5, um, they're the classic size. Um, I like that there is a lot of space to see in everything's quite clear um, I don't know if I like the size of the planner personally because it's a bit big I like to be able to if I need to carry it somewhere it's not too oversized I guess but they're actually quite nice inserts um, I didn't find any issues with the paper thickness or anything I am used to doing print at home inserts so I usually use not very thick paper myself um, so it was fairly similar to what I use anyway so that worked out fine um, so like I said I'm using this kit from Stella Bow Sticker Co which I do actually have 10% off when you use the code Shannon 10 and you can also put that code in the notes section when you order and it will get you my exclusive freebie sheet of stickers, uh, which is in a, like a monochrome color scheme, and it's super cute. So make sure you add it twice, one in the discount section and one in the notes, so that you can get the freebie as well as the discount. So I was just trying to find something to go in this corner section because I didn't like the flag. Um, and I decided to go with this Planet Beautiful uh, sampler kit. Um, I went with the pink crocheted heart because it was actually a winter kit and being September it's actually spring so I didn't want a Hello Winter written in a spring month but I think the colours on this sampler kit actually matched really nicely with the monthly kit from Stella Bo Sticker Co. And the sidebar from the monthly kit actually fit down the side of the inserts really well. Especially with this um, full box in the corner. I think that worked really good and I was super happy with how that went. Although it was a bit of a uh, bit tricky 
lining up. I have lost my sticker tweezers when I went to do this tick, this kit, and unfortunately I'm not so great at laying the stickers down by hand. I like to use my tweezers. So things were a little bit fiddly, but I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out. And as you can see here, this is where I, how I added the cut off pieces from the top strips down the bottom. So it all matched up, which I was really excited about. And I also added along this sidebar strip that I added, I just did to do's, um, uh, like a reminder section and what's important so that I can list what to remember, important dates or anything for the month, especially like birthdays and stuff. And now I'm just adding in some uh, flags and labels for certain dates coming up in September. So here I'm just fixing up for Father's Day, which is on the 1st of September, and adding in the payday flags, which actually fit really well in these boxes as well. I was using this kit in a B6 monthly spread, and I had to use the flags uh, vertically so they were like not straight or not going the right direction because they were too wide for the box it was like way too wide but these fit in really well in these boxes next to the numbers the date dots so that was good too I was happy that I didn't have to do too much um, cutting down of any of the stickers So now I'm just adding in uh, my birthday, because my birthday's in September. So adding in my birthday and I'll also add in my friend's birthday the week before. And using these Marshmallow Studio um, balloons to mark the day as well. And this Ducky and Dude um, little present for Father's Day. Sorry about my big head getting in the way there, guys. Um, so I'm just adding in my friend's birthday a week before mine. Just a few um, important dates in September to remember. Also using these icons from the monthly kit along the days of the week so that I can mark for the things I have every week on that same day. So bin night Mondays, um, washi Wednesday posts on Wednesday and kindy on Fridays. Again, I found that these um, quarter boxes for bills, the bill due stickers, also fit. There was a tiny little bit overhang on one side, but wasn't enough to cause worry, so I didn't bother cutting them down at all. I just kept them as is, which I think they were fine. They didn't intrude too much over the lines, which was fine. And then I took these cute glitter headers from the sampler kit um, just to de decorate uh, the empty days of the week boxes for a little bit of extra deco around. So just using them and filling in some blank spots gives it a bit more colour as well to the kit. I do come back though because I realise that that first line up the top isn't actually dated. That's the end of the week before so I will take those two off 
um, on those days that don't actually have numbers on them because it was just bothering me and just move them to a day that is dated and blank. So just adding my writing here. Not that I love my writing, it kind of ruins my spreads once I put my own handwriting in. I really need to practice some lettering or something to make it look much nicer. I don't love it, but it didn't ruin it too much this time. So just filling in some of these bills that I have, the fun stuff of being an adult. And the pen I'm using I, is from uh, Little Bear and Lamb, which is my shop um, with Pia. And we had these really cool beaded bling pens. And I love it. It's so smooth to write with. And really want to get some more of those. Um, so this is the look of it at the end. See, I have moved the top line. Thanks for watching so much. Make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment or a like. Talk to you later.